That's the 730 kickoff. Ohio State winners in Northwestern last night with 2-3. State has the day off today. Iowa, number 22 in the nation, beat Purdue 97. Number 20, Minnesota, undefeated, taken on a Western State. That's an early start. Indiana, in Maryland this afternoon, but take on a Second half, two commands. as Finlandia will kick it away. A lot of guys getting some action for Hope today. Hopefully everybody gets through healthy. We set up next week's matchup with Olivet. In the first half, very methodical. Hey, kid, kick right. off the line. Of offense to the ground. Kick. Oh, wow. With the oh, wings backing up at his own goal line. Justin Freeman. So that'll be Justin Freeman. He'll take it straight up the middle. Busted to the outside. Hit at the 25. And he's finally brought down. Gang tackle style. Three Lions bring down Freeman. He's not had a return in a while. Freeman's tackled on the 25 yard line. By number eight. So first and 10 for Hope. First down and 10. A lot of players here in the second half. Mason Oppel, he was done after the first quarter, the senior quarterback for Hope. Joey Stark will bring out the troops for the second half. With 13 first downs in that first half to six for Finlandia. First and 10, Stark from the shotgun. Pitch. Near side, Stark, Rice Stark, the running back, hit high, breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle at the 35, falls forward at the 38 yard line. Great second and third effort by Bryce Stark. He moves the chains first and 10. Breaks couple tackles. Strong running by Bryce Stark. 15 on the play. 15 yard pickup by Bryce Stark. That's first down. Stark had 38 yards on five touches with a touchdown rush in the first half. Averaged over seven and a half yards per kill. <laughs> Hope average almost 10 yards as a team per rush, first and 10 from their own 39. Just underway third quarter, 58-12, Hope of the lead on first and 10. Knopsiger near side, slot receiver left strong side on first down. Stark straight hand off to Bryce Stark. Second effort, stood up at the 45 and finally brought down. Good tackle by Dave Carlson. Bryce Stark on carry up the middle. Turning the play. Starting, play. starting defensive line down immediately. On the eastern side of the upper peninsula. <coughs> Six yard pickup by Bryce Stark. Second down and four. Matt McIntyre, the H back out of Waukesha, Wisconsin, gets his first action of the day. As well as Mike Miller. Mike Miller, the junior from Mason, Michigan. We saw him a little bit earlier. Check that down. Mike Miller out of Royal Oak, Shrine Catholic. He lines up in the slot on second down and four. Joey Stark in the gun. Gets the snap, hand up. Daniel Romano. Romano on the carry is tackled behind the line of scrimmage by number 52 for the Christian, Christian, Christian Creighton. Freshman linebacker out of Gladstone. He's a leading tackler in the MIAA and he hit his line in the backfield. Got some new linemen in the home college. Cole Harder, the 6'2 freshman out of Muskegon. Arthur lines up in the left guard position. Left tackle, that's Tyler Eating, Brady's brother, the junior out of Hamilton. We'll get the others as well on third down and eight. Man in motion, near side. Handoff on the pitch to the wide receiver for the power sweep, hitting the backfield. Second effort as he escapes the tackle, but finally brought down at the ankles by Josh Eve. And on that end around is Tyler Sprague. Duval Catholic Junior will bring up fourth down and five. Sprague, three yard carry. Another offensive line beginning with Josh Eakes Roth. Short of the first down. Sophomore out of Farmington Hills Harrison getting some snaps and right guard position. And the new center that's uh, Matt Middleton. Junior offensive line. Scott Michigan played his high school football at Climax Scott. Harris with a nifty punt his first time up. That one wobbly into the wind. Fielded by Eve. He's hit at the point of return. Was able to fight his way to the 25. He caught that one in traffic, too. But the landing gets a first possession at the home to just one first down on the first drive of the second half. Harris had a 46 yard punt in the first half. 
That one goes for 35 unofficially. First and 10 for Finlandia, trailing 58-12. First and 10, Finlandia. The they will scrimmage from their own 25. Let's go, Baba! Darren Johnson, the quarterback, has Kato to his left on first down. Hand to Kato, off right tackle. Drive, works drive, his way over drive. center. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. There's hope trying to strip the football. Not much for Kato, maybe a yard. Eight touchdowns and a safety for Hope in that first half. That set a record for any Hope College football team in a game in their long and storied history. Second down, they're going to give K two yards. Second down on a long seven. Trevor Sutton in, in the secondary for Hope working the near side defensively. They hand off to K, hit the back guys. Guys. Falls forward. Hazen has a yard. Kevin Hazen, senior out of Troy. K K up the middle of the line. Tackle will bring up third down and five. TR pickup for K K. What a good first half. It's a hard running back as a freshman. Kind of the workhorse for the rushing department. Right. Ball carries. Ball placed at 31 yard line. Third down and five. Third and five. Go defense! Come on, guys! 58 to 12. Here four of eight on third down conversions in the first half. 10.46 remaining here in this third quarter. Overcast rainy afternoon here in the Upper Peninsula. Hancock, Michigan. Third down. Johnson moves to his left. He's in trouble. Tries to work his way out of trouble. Breaks the tackle. Hit from behind, but not before picking up the first down. Jakopic put a lick on him. Johnson on made the him stumble. Here. Bot made him. <laughs> from the finishing tackle. But not before Johnson was the change. Third down. Yeah, four to the right That's enough for a Lion first down. Some other new faces for Hope defensively. Adam Gill, a freshman out of Forest Hills Northern. He has a fumble recovery. He's going to get some action on this defensive setup for Hope here in the second half. Three in the front. For Hope defensively on first and ten. Lost for K is Jace Thornton, the freshman out of Forest Hills. K on the carry off the left side. Very short able game. to wrap him up for a yard and a half gain. He had two on the play. Strong side, far side. But said no sir. Second down and eight. Connor Nuzlicki, the freshman out of Byron Center, getting the start in the second half. Jarrell Tolbert, the nose guard, and Nuzlicki, the defensive end on the far side of things. Hope without Joe Romano and Jake Babb, the two bookend defensive ends for the Flying Dutchman defense, did not make the trip. Then there was from there, second and eight, passing the flat complete at the 42. Juke move by the receiver. He's brought down on the near side. Brandon Brandon Shower. Brandon showers for Hope defensively. It'll bring up second down. And check that. It's going to bring up third down and four. Ball resting at the 46 for Finlandia. They've got third down and four. 848 left in this fast moving third quarter. 58 to 12. Hope for the lead over Finlandia. Hope had an 80 point That's third best in Division Three this year. Third down conversions. Finlandia did the last time of a quarterback scramble as Darrell Tolbert. Nose guard for Hope College at the center. And it's going to be offsides on Hope and an automatic first down for the first round of defense. Defense and encroachment. And automatic Finlandia. Check out. He'll probably get an earful from Peter Sturza. No, just a pat on the rump. Here comes Ethan Riley, the freshman defensive end out of Trenton High School. They get some action. Most of the travel guys will get some playing time today. Good to see. Eve lines up as a lone receiver on the short side. Ball in the near hash mark. First and 10 at the Hope 48. Man in motion, Eve. He'll line up in the slot far side. All the receivers stack on the left side. He breaks the tackle at the 48. Still on his feet and brought down by Hazel. And the Tochi, but not the Tochi, the Tochi, the Tochi, This kid's going to be a good ball player. Freshman out of Sault Ste. Marie. He has six on the play. Brings up a second down and four. Let's go, let's go. 
Okay, in the season, they have a ton of carries coming in. He's, he's had the majority of the carries today. Second down and four. And now we got a flag stopping everything. There's a flag on the play. Gotta believe it's gonna go against the landing, it does. Ball third of the Lions, five yard penalty. Fifth penalty in the game for the Lions. <laughs> it's gonna bring up a second down and nine situation. Second down and nine for the Lions. Ball in the near hash mark. Finlandia moving with the wind. Kind of a uh, side wind, but a little bit of wind in their favor. Moving left to right in this third quarter. High snap. Darren Johnson lowers ahead at the 42 and brought down. Good slay of hand, good fake handoff to take K as a motion. Johnson, Glenn Johnson took right away for six. It'll bring up third and short yardage at the whole 42, 33 to be exact. Turkey on play. Comes up a third down and four. He lines up behind his quarterback Johnson. Wind continues to pick up here at McAfee Field. Kajawa man in motion. Lines up on the slot left side. Ball bobbled by Johnson. Picks it up in the backfield. Tries to tuck it and run. And still on his feet as he tries to make a tackle. Finally brought down after a ferocious effort. Timothy Bott finally finishes him off from the secondary, but not before he loses yardage. Johnson will be back. Down and 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 down They'll go for it. They're 0 for 1 on the day. In Hope territory at the 47. They've got to get to the 38. On fourth down. Johnson wants to pass. Here's he throws. Wounded up. Gonna save it by Jacobic. Go! Oh, there he goes! He's got Brady Hunter He's gonna take it to the house. Touchdown, Hope College. Johnson. Wobbly throw in the near side. Jacobic calls it in. And he runs 60 yards to Painter. Johnson is sacked on the play by number 81, Ethan Riley. Ethan Riley with a sack for Holt. Forced the ball is intercepted by number 20. Wobbly pass and Jacobic takes it. 60 yards on the return. Defensive return for a touchdown for Hope on the day. For a Two fumble returns and now an interception return. Albert now the extra point. 4 12. Here's Sam Albritton on the extra point. Kick is up. And that sidewinder makes it through. 65 to 12. We've got five points in the score. Period. Oh, 65 and Last year, Hope had some interesting touchdowns as well. Christian Boss. Or excuse me, David Boss had a 62-yard touchdown, or a return for a touchdown, and Corey Durr had a kickoff return for a touchdown. Good special teams play. In the 70 to 6 victory in 2018. Now today, Hope has done the same thing. Jeremiah Purnell, the junior linebacker, with a 40-yard fumble return. Adam Gill with a 20-yard fumble return. In special teams on a kickoff return by Finlandia. And now Bryce Jakopic with a 60 yard interception return. The third interception of the day, the most since week two, and they had five interceptions against Defiance in that 80 to 6 victory. Well, Hope's not going to stop playing. They have a 65 12 lead, a lot of football remaining. All the starters are out. And See if they throw oh, the for that, right? Like we said, the third best scoring out for this year. Pilger with a boot. It's a short kick. Kajawa and Eve take a run on it. Eve field in his own 15. Changes direction, tries to move it to the outside. And grabbed by the jersey. Good initial contact by Vanderkoy. Slowed him down and finally brought down. And we got a Hope College football player slow to get up. He picks his way up the middle. 
That's Dylan Green, the freshman safety out of Vendalia. And it is. He'll jog off under his own power. Ball's worth at the Vendalia 27, first down line. We were talking about Hope's 80 points, the third highest scoring game in D3 this season. John Carroll had 90 points against Capitol back on, uh, just last week, and Whitworth had 82 against Willamette back on October 5th. First and 10, K gets the call. Off left tackle, not much, maybe to the 30 as the scrimmage starts at the 27 yard line. K in the season came in, 120, coming in 124 yards on 38 and two and a half yards per carry, so he's coming up with his best one of his best performances of 2019, the freshman. They'll give him two at 46 yards in the first half. Strong runner trying to make things happen. Second and eight from their own 30. Where are the wide receiver lines up on the strong side. Now he's joined by Kajau in the slot position. In motion, handoff K has room, bounce to the outside, and now nowhere to run. Initial contact for Adam Gill had him wrapped up in the way to the long play. Bought in on the stop as well from the secondary. Bob, the junior out of Buckley, Michigan. Played this football at Traverse City, St. Francis. One yard pickup by K. That'll bring up third down. And Zach Lake, the freshman fullback, checks out. He doesn't run much, he blocks quite a bit. Third down and seven situation. Game losing streak coming into this one. They've not won since 2017. In mid October against Trinity Bible. Third down and eight. Johnson wants to pass, being chased. And now he's still on his feet, trying to break a tackle. A vicious collision at the 32. Leading at the summit is Adam Gill and Johnson. Big kick. Johnson at 165. And Johnson gets it. number 31. It's going to be all right, but he'll be well short of the first down. He picks up a couple on the scramble. Got to bring up fourth down. Running situation. He's up at his fourth and five for the Lions. KK back. Green starts to fall once again here. In Hancock on fourth down. K the punter. Brady Howell back. Wobbly turn for the Dutchman. Smash. Good kick with the win. Brady Howe gives chase. He'll let it drop and roll out of bounds. As Philandia touches it at the 14-yard line. Good play by the freshman left out and go. Good punt by Tate K. 53 yards unofficially. And first attempt for Hope is they'll move into a pretty good win at the moment. Hope's driving ring with 2.57 left here in the third quarter. Updated score from Angola. Olivet with a 14-10 lead. 9.42 remaining until halftime in that one from Angola, Indiana. Leading rusher in the MIAA, Noah McMinn with a three-yard touchdown rush. Let's put Olivet back in the lead. Power sweep. Romano works to the outside. Five to seven to 20. 25 at the 30. Good block downfield. Romano carries off the left side. by Matt Middleton, the junior guard, with a spring downfield, and Romano with a first down. Every, every guy he picks up is a career high. He had 14 yards and four carries in the first half. First and 10 from their own 29 of the Flying Dutchman. Clock running with 235 left. 58-12 at halftime. Hope has had one touchdown in this third quarter. Bryce Jakovic, 60-yard interception return. First and 10, Joey Stark hands off to Romano once again. Busts his way to the outside, breaks the tackle, turns the corner at the 35. He's got to get to the 39 for a first down. It's going to be close. Long running. Romano carries again for Hope off the right side. Tom Novakovich, the freshman linebacker out of Florence, Kentucky, drops Romano, but not after Romano picks up nine yards. It'll bring up second yeah, nine down the half yard. Brings up second down and short. Tice Vandergoot, the freshman out of Hudsonville Unity Christian, is a far side receiver for Joey Stark. He's got one on the short side. 
on second and one. With Mono in the backfield. High snap. Power sweep. Trying to string the place out. Play out is Bryce Stark in the backfield hit and forced out of bounds. He's going to take a loss on that play. That was a good play defensively by Finlandia. Kind of stringing things out. Deep Carlson. Defensive line. Bryce Stark is a four-yard loss. Five situation. College offensive line right now. Guys like Chris Rexroth, who's a beast, 6'7", 267, a sophomore from Farmington Hills Harrison, along with Matt Middleton. The Pope's going to lose quite a few front line starters after this year. Third down and five. Stark rolls right. Plants fires that one. Picked off. In and out of the hands. Check that. Incomplete. Josh Eve on the run, open field on the far side at the 35, had it just flat drop out of his hands. As he slaps himself on the head of Miller. And they bring up fourth down, put off the way for Josh Eve. Brings up a fourth down. That's by Stark. Hope has not thrown an interception all season long. That leads at Division Three stats of any team. Talking about that Hope offensive line, they're going to lose Zach Smith, the senior, Noah DeVelder, and Tim Ivory. Three-year starters. Noah DeVelder is starting to get back to up into his sophomore year, almost blocked as Harris gets off a great punt into a win. It takes a Philania bounce down with the Lions 37. First and 10 for the Lions. It's all Hope, 65 to 12, 44 seconds left here in this third quarter. From McAfee Field. Oh, it's not the the Philandia, 37 oh, there. Travis, Hope fans off to our left. The Hope football team yesterday came up and had a practice at Northern Mission. They got a dome stadium and attacked the cafeteria. From what I told, they put quite a bit of dent into the Northern Mission cafeteria. to pay it off, they're up big, 65-12, first and 10, K gets a call, come on, come on. center, hit from behind, second effort to the 40. Brought down by Ethan Riley, the middle of the line. Riley was the guy who hit Johnson and forced that wobbly throw, enabling Jakopic to pick off the interception to go 60 yards yeah, in the yeah, touchdown, yeah, yeah. scoring seven. in the third quarter. Both teams with all of their timeouts remaining. <laughs> Green has subsided for the moment. Now resting comfortably at the Finlandia 40. It's going to be the last play of the third quarter. We'll switch sides. 15 minutes remaining. Hope trying to win their fifth straight. They're up comfortably. Six that is the end of the third quarter. Right back. This is Hope College Football. 92 Fans with the most up-to-date information on Finlandia Lions Athletics, visit the Lions oh, okay. on the web at uh, you do it the post -game show? FNewLions.com. Okay, that's cool. What you got to do? Yep. Then we'll be back on track. Yeah, you can do two minutes. 